Okay, this is Terry um, doing how to write a term paper in half the time. And this section, what we're doing is the PACE special and the APA MLA format. Um, if you don't know what APA and MLA are, the uh, APA is what American Psychiatric Association. And what they've done is it's a professional organization that has published a book on the proper way to cite anything and everything. So books and magazines and journal articles all the way to conference meetings and, and telephone calls and the Bible and just everything that you can think of. So we're going to do that. And the issue here is these are all built into Word, or the most popular ones are built into Word. And I want to show you how to snag um, from the internet uh, your, your quotes. And what I'm going to do is use this History Channel website. So let me get to that website. And if we come to it, then um, you see it's the History Channel, so that's going to be a good source. Uh, there's all kinds of articles and videos. The Vietnam War was the history that I put in there. So um, I'm reading through here and I look and see, okay, more than 3 million, including 58,000 Americans were killed in the war and half were civilians. That's a quote that I wanted to pull out, uh, just like we're doing our individual note cards. I'm going to take this one piece of information and go pop it in where it belongs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and hit copy and then I'm going to go back to my document right so let me get to the right version of the, the document and uh, from a previous attempt I put this in so I'm going to delete it and just pretend it wasn't there um, okay so um, I need to digress for just a second because this is something I should have put in the previous video uh, when you do your outline, the level ones, the introduction, spread of communism, international issues, etc., those are all supposed to be the same parts of speech. So they all need to be nouns, they all need to be infinitives or whatever. Then when you jump into uh, the ABCs, then those all need to be the same part of speech, but they don't have to be the same part of speech as the Roman numerals 1, 2, 3. So you can have nouns here, you can have infinitives here. And then the same thing with your level threes, uh, which is your old-fashioned one and two. So um, I'll leave that up to you and your instructor. But here's where we left off from the previous video is we're going to close our outline view. We're now back into our uh, main document and we are in our print layout view, right? So we're in our print layout view and when we look at this, we see that we're in, there's our heading one, here's our heading two, if I come down here, here's our heading three. And I decide that that quote needs to go under the introduction, under the United States intervention. That's you know something I want to quote. So what I could do is put in my double quote and then hit paste and put in my double quote again. Um, the, the problem with that is so oftentimes when you copy from the internet you get all those HTML codes which can just be an absolute disaster of trying to get it figured out and make it look right. So I'm going to hit control Z to undo and show you a better way which is to go up to the upper left hand corner here go to the paste and choose paste special. When you choose paste special then you can say I don't want all those HTML codes I want just the plain text without those codes with those codes all stripped out and then you hit OK so the computer will strip out the codes you hit OK there's our site oops need a double quotes so there's our citations and then um, or our quote and then I put in a space um, what comes next or what you should do next then is go to your references and add that reference so the first thing you do is you choose APA, there's all these other versions in here, there's the MLA. Uh, again, the APA is going to be the one that uh, everybody pretty much will agree on. Um, then I hit my manage my sources and I turn around and I've made other sources. So I'm going to say, okay, what I need is a new one. So I click new and then I choose what is this? is it a book is it a section a journal article and when I come down here I see it's a website now the beauty of going if I go back to the um, 
History Channel page, these higher end sites um, give you the citation. So it's the history.com staff was the author, right? It's, you don't have a, a, a set author. The uh, website name is history.com. It's published in 2009. It's the title is Vietnam War History. Um, and here's the URL, right? Or we can click up here and, and hit copy. And what I'm going to do if I get to the right spot is I'm going to say this is the his, uh, a corporate author and it's history.com staff. The name, oops, the name of the web page was the Vietnam War. What was it? Uh, Vietnam War history. I need to put that so it doesn't interfere. Well, I guess it's going to. Uh, Vietnam War history. This is history.com. Wish I could type. The year that this was up it was 2009. And then we pop in the URL. Um, what you also need, and this is the one downside that I know of from um, this being a website, if we show all of the bi bibliography, you also need to put in this uh, year access. And I don't know why Word doesn't make this mandatory, but we're going to put in 2014 that we access this in April, and today's date is um, the 18th that I'm making this. So here's all the other items that you can put in there. The starred item should be the one that you have to put in there, right? And if you don't see a field, then you can um, click the show all and it will give you those additional ones. Down here at the bottom is just a tag name. Um, if this is the computer generates this and you may have several of these so you may want to put in um, several citations 0102 or um, population or uh, num killed what, whatever it is um, it, it will just help you keep it organized and it's just a quick reference that's all it is all right so now we hit OK and we're going to take that one and we're going to we've added it to our history channel here and the reason there's two of those is simply because um, I made a mess up on the first time of making this video so I just had to remake it all right so it's a, it should be the same exact uh, citation so that being said when it comes time now that we've got our sources in there then we can say we want to insert our citation these are exactly the same one so I can delete one of them but I'm not going to take the time uh, right now to go in and delete it and there's our proper citation now here's the critical part do this every time this is like making a single note card every time you pull a source go put it in where it belongs in your structure automatically right then and there don't don't put it off type in your citation and then put uh, type in the you know the uh, uh, source and then put in that citation history.com staff comma 2009 which the computer generates if you put that in there you're not going to have to worry about trying to find it later you just do it now you're good to go and the computer will keep track of what citation goes with what quote all right all right I think let me double check and I think that is what we need get to the right spot that's what we need to do the pace special the APA MLA using the history channel um, and I'll see you on the next video all right thanks